Welcome Dollware Designers to the Dollware Pattern Collection. And what I'm going to show you is the Dollware software and all the basic patterns that you get when you buy the Dollware Pattern Designer software. And all these patterns here are sizable. I'm just going to scan through the document here and show you what patterns you can use when using your designer. As you can see here, this is a typical type of design that is possible with the seam tool. There's the daisy hat, and there's the daisy hat uh, side crown. Oh, and here we have the round brim that goes with the daisy hat, and that's the crown, uh, fully seamed. And then here's the, uh, the daisy hat brim itself. There's several bodices, as you can see. This is the back bodice, and then here we have the, the front bodice. And then we'll have different neckline styles that go with the different types. And of course, you can change the, the neckline yourself because here we have a deep circular bodice. And these, these ones here, which print out on 8.5 by 11 size paper, these ones here are sized for 18 inch dolls. But of course, you could size them for whatever size doll that you are designed for. And because they're sized to the measurements, you can then have it for different shape of dolls. Now one of the things though is, is that um, of course you know sometimes a fashion doll will not just fit on a regular like you know say a uh, infant doll for example. And when you when you design in pattern making you know there's really just a few basic patterns that can pretty much apply to just about any kind of design. So what you can do with these pattern pieces, you know, when you're sizing them is pretty much up to your imagination. It's really kind of, you know, up to you combination of pattern pieces. Uh, for example, here we have a t-shirt for your, for a doll. Uh, shirt cuff if you want to make a, a nice dress short, like uh, say that picture of that western. Uh, here's a round yoke uh, collar. All the basic pattern and collars are available. Uh, here we have a little uh, clown outfit with a clown uh, top hat. And uh, here's the uh, the jumpsuit that goes with that particular pattern piece. And of course, there's a good selection of sleeves. Here's a coat. And uh, the coat front, for example, here we go. And then uh, there's also other collections that can be added into your pattern designer as time goes by. This is just the basic, what, what we call the Dollwear 1.2 collection. So here we have the A-line dress, which is you know very popular pattern. A deep circular, depending on the the bodice length that you would like to use for your designs. And there's a deep um, neck. And then we have the round yoke collar. And here we have a round yoke dress and skirt. And that would be the back. And here we have the sleeve that goes with that particular pattern piece. And we'll just keep scanning through. As you can see, there's quite a few pattern designs. So uh, here we have a baseball cap. So a baseball cap piece and mandarin coat. Uh, depending on the theme you would like to use for your doll. Here we have a jacket sleeve. There's the mandarin back. And there's the interfacing that goes with that. And here's another jacket. Which is the denim jacket. And let's just quickly go through. It's going to take a little while because there's over, uh, I think there's 135 unique pattern slopers. Here's the circular skirt. Again, which you would use in a lot of different design um, types that you would use. Uh, we also have the teddy wear collection coming out soon. Here's a straight back skirt, front and back of course. There's the band that goes with it. And there's an, an illustration of that of an A-line skirt. And here we have the sailor collar. So if you'd like to make a sailor outfit, you can use that. Peter Pan collar. There's a regular dress shirt collar. Round collar. Square collar. Shawl collar. Leotard, if you want to make leotards. A nice shawl pattern comes with the collection. And we got a poncho back here, poncho front. Uh, here's a pattern uh, for uh, pants, both front and back, if you want to make pants or shorts, depending on how, how long you want. And then we do have, of course, boxer shorts and pantaloons for your doll collection. And then some sporty, you know, sweatpant type patterns the short back. Uh, here's a pants back. 
And there's the front that goes with that. A uh, pocket if you want to add that. And here's the waist. There's a round neck. And keep scrolling through here. Here's a slip back, slip front, scoop neck. There's another scoop neck front with a different neckline. Here's a uh, slip with uh, shows you where to put the Velcro. And there's the shoulder closure. There's a straight sleeve that you can add to that. Short sleeve, three-quarter sleeve, and a Regency sleeve if you want to do a princess dress. And a short sleeve shirt for a t-shirt, say. Full sleeve. And uh, you've got a sock pattern. So you can see that you could really create a, an amazing wardrobe with all the base patterns here. And I think we're about three quarters of the way through. And see as it goes on here, you have your underpants and a V-neck back, V-neck front, and pants waistband, and we've got stockings. Keep going through here. Here's a nice pant design here. There's an illustration of what those pants look like after you've created that pattern. And we'll keep going here. There's another waistband. Here's a skirt. There's your blouse. Here's the blouse front. And there's your uh, blouse cuff. Some more illustrations. And then a bray. If you want to put a bray on your doll, you can do that. So here's a skirt back, say, for a fashion doll, if you like, uh, which I think would all also fit on a regular doll. The rough, uh, ruffle sleeve. And there's the band for the ruffle sleeve and the waistband for the slip. Bodice back, bodice front, dress collar, neck back, another dress sleeve. Here we have a uh, poke bonnet if you want to create an antique doll um, outfit. You can use some antique patterns. There's the side crown for your poke bonnet. Shirt back, shirt front. Measurement chart, uh, taking the measurements for sizing your patterns. And there you go. There's the doll wear pattern collection. So for all of you that are asking what patterns come with the collection, I hope that you enjoy your software and that you find lots of amazing things that you can make with it. Thanks, and bye for now.